Being the world's most livable city comes with great responsibilities. People who are moving to Vienna have high expectations. Expectations like higher paid jobs, higher social security standards, and a better work-life balance than in their home country. But can Vienna really meet all of these expectations? For everyone who is new to our channel, we are Kathy and Puria and we have been living in Vienna for almost all our lives. Both of us have worked corporate jobs and experienced the ups and downs of it. But there are some highlights which we think are totally worth sharing with you guys. And we're sure that the first one is going to blow your mind. 25 paid vacation days per year. Every employee in Austria has a minimum of 25 paid vacation days. This is so different from many other countries, not only because of the high number of vacation days you get, but also the fact that there is a minimum and not really up to the company to define. Austrians love their vacation days and rarely leave them unused. In most companies, vacation days can be accumulated for one or two years in case they don't get fully consumed by the employee. But that could be restricted by the employer. In case you're not a vacation person and don't feel like consuming so many days per year, make sure to double check with your employer what happens if you don't consume them in the same year. In some cases, you can even have them paid out. Something that's non-negotiable are lunch breaks in Austria. Mandatory lunch breaks. After six hours of work, a lunch break gets deducted automatically from your working time, which is an unpaid half an hour. It's not your employer forcing you into a lunch break, it's the Austrian government and it's non-negotiable. If you start at 9 a.m. in the morning, you have to consume your 30 minutes lunch break by latest 3 p.m., which means your eight hour workday is theoretically an eight and a half hour workday, including the break. If you're looking for good food options in Vienna for your lunch break, make sure you follow us on Instagram The next point is great news for expecting couples, which is paid maternity and paternity leave. How do you like the idea of receiving 80% of your previous income from two months before your child was born until its first birthday, which are 14 months? Isn't that crazy? Being parents ourselves, that's one of the most appreciated benefits as it takes away the pressure to return back to work ASAP. It lets you focus on your newborn until the age of one without having to think about the financials. On top, also fathers have the opportunity to go into paternity leave and spend minimum two months with their newborn. In that case, the mother would stay at home for 12 months and the father would go on a paternity leave for months 13 and 14. But you could customize the split as you desire between both parents. For example, eight months for the mother and six months for the father. If the father is not in the position to go on a paternity leave, the maternity leave would end after 12 months. When it's time again to return to the office, commuting becomes a pain point for many employees. But also here we have some great news. Our number four is the commuting bonus. The more time you need to get to the office, the more the government is supporting you in form of a commuting bonus. The current maximum is around 306 euros per month just to compensate your mobility expenses. If you have to commute by car, it might not cover all of your vehicle expenses, but a big chunk of it, which is a great thing. You could either get it monthly deducted from the income taxes or get a one-time payment at the end of the year. The Ministry of Finance offers an official calculator on their website where you can enter your home and office address and it calculates your dedicated commuting bonus. We will link the calculator in the video description below, so do check it out. If you want to work in the city but would like to live in the suburbs, that's definitely something which you should take advantage of. Moving on to our last point, which might be a cultural shock for many immigrants. It needs time to get used to it, but it's a good thing. Punctuality. 
Just like in Germany or Switzerland, punctuality is part of the culture and is expected on all levels. The public transportation system is very punctual. Of course, there can be incidents and roadworks which delay it, but the rule of thumb is that buses, trains, metros leave their station according to their schedule and people can rely on that. Austrians are not only strict with the public transportation system, punctuality is actually expected on all levels. If you have a business meeting, don't be late. For many Central Europeans, that sounds like a no-brainer, but it's unfortunately something that other cultures have to get used to it. Being late is considered as rude and might come with after effects. It sounds stressful, but once you get used to it, it's actually a really beautiful thing and allows you to plan ahead with much more ease. Just considering that in both of our cultures, Indian and Persian, punctuality is rather a decision than a rule, it's always beautiful to see that punctuality has such a big impact on our everyday lives, especially with kids now. So guys, we have reached the end of this video and if you found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments below which of these points would make you want to move to Vienna for a job. See you guys in the next video. Bye!